As humans, our natural curiosity draws us to explore the unknown, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding. The deep ocean, covering over two-thirds of our planet, holds a plethora of enigmatic mysteries, 15 of which we will delve into, each more fascinating and perplexing than the last. The Mysterious Mariana Trench The Mariana Trench, named after the nearby Mariana Islands, is the deepest part of the world's oceans. Plunging down nearly 36,000 feet, it is a world of darkness, intense pressure, and chilling temperatures that have mystified scientists for years. Two primary mysteries that encompass the Mariana Trench include the nature of its inhabitants and its baffling geography. The life forms in this extreme environment have adapted to survive conditions that are unimaginable for most species on Earth. The creatures here, many of which are yet to be discovered or adequately studied, seem to exist beyond the typical biological and physical rules we understand. Glowing in the absolute darkness, using bioluminescence as a survival strategy, and withstanding crushing pressures and freezing temperatures, these creatures are a testament to life's resilience and adaptability. The snailfish, for example, a tadpole-like creature that holds the record as the deepest living fish known to man, is a symbol of life's tenacity in the harshest environments. However, a significant proportion of the species residing in the trench remain unidentified due to the technical and physical challenges posed by deep-sea exploration. The Mariana Trench's unique geography adds to its mystery. It's not just the sheer depth of the trench that intrigues scientists, but the geological features within it. The Challenger Deep, the trench's lowest point, and the Sirena Deep, another extreme depth zone, showcase unique geological formations that scientists are still attempting to understand fully. They're the abode of some of the most exotic and least understood ecosystems on our planet. At these extreme depths, traditional methods of research and exploration become virtually impossible, making the trench's depth a formidable obstacle to scientists. The pressure at the Mariana Trench's deepest point is over a thousand times the standard atmospheric pressure at sea level, strong enough to crush most submarines. A recent mystery of the Mariana Trench is the detection of microplastics in organisms living in these extreme conditions. The discovery of anthropogenic pollution at such profound depths adds a new layer of concern about the reach of human impact on even the most remote and inaccessible ecosystems on Earth. The Mariana Trench continues to be a symbol of the ultimate exploration frontier, embodying the grandeur and mystery of the deep sea. Each new expedition reveals new facts that alter our understanding of life and geology, reinforcing the Mariana Trench's status as one of the ocean's greatest unsolved mysteries. The Curious Case of the Bermuda Triangle Underwater The Bermuda Triangle, a loosely defined region in the Atlantic Ocean, has been at the center of a mystery for several decades. Notorious for the disappearance of numerous ships and aircraft, the Bermuda Triangle's reputation has fed numerous conspiracy theories and speculations. When we think of the Bermuda Triangle, we generally envision its surface. However, an equally intriguing mystery lies beneath the waves, the ocean floor of the Bermuda Triangle, Comprising varying terrains, including vast underwater plains, dramatic drop-offs, and a series of submerged mountain ranges, this underwater landscape is a treasure trove of unsolved mysteries. One particularly captivating mystery is the existence of underwater methane hydrates. These are essentially gas deposits trapped in an ice-like substance, and their sudden release could theoretically create massive bubbles capable of sinking ships. Although it's a compelling theory, it hasn't been definitively proven as a cause for the Triangle's disappearances. Additionally, deep beneath the Triangle's waters lies the Puerto Rico Trench, the deepest part of the Atlantic Ocean. Its extreme depth and unexplored nature make it a rich ground for scientific inquiry and potential discoveries. The deep-sea environment of the Bermuda Triangle holds a wealth of yet uncovered secrets. Its enigmatic nature continues to perplex scientists and explorers, and the mysteries surrounding the ocean's depths in this region add another layer to the infamous Bermuda Triangle enigma, the abyssal gigantism phenomenon. One of the most fascinating phenomena of the deep ocean is abyssal gigantism, or deep-sea gigantism. It refers to the tendency of deep-sea invertebrates and other animals to grow much larger than similar species in shallower waters. 
Species like the Japanese spider crab with its leg span reaching up to 12 feet and the giant squid, potentially reaching lengths of over 40 feet, offer striking examples of this phenomenon. These creatures' remarkable size is an enigma that scientists have been attempting to unravel. Several theories aim to explain abyssal gigantism. Some suggest that larger size could be an adaptation to the scarce food resources in the deep sea, as larger creatures can go longer without eating. Others posit that a larger size might allow these organisms to withstand the crushing pressures of the deep ocean. Another hypothesis pertains to the oxygen temperature size rule, which suggests that cold, oxygen-rich environments like the deep sea can support larger body sizes. The deep sea's darkness also adds to the theory, as larger animals might have an edge in predation or avoiding being preyed upon in an environment where sight isn't a primary sense. Despite these theories, the exact causes behind abyssal gigantism remain uncertain, making it a fascinating mystery. Unraveling this puzzle could not only shed light on these creatures' unique adaptations, but also provide broader insights into evolutionary biology and the deep ocean's ecological functioning. The Bloop, an unidentified sound. In the world of oceanic mysteries, perhaps none is as confounding as the enigmatic sound known as the bloop. This ultra-low frequency and incredibly powerful underwater sound was detected in 1997 by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. The source of the sound was roughly triangulated to a remote area in the South Pacific Ocean, west of the southern tip of South America. The sound was several times louder than the loudest known biological sound, that of the blue whale, prompting speculation about its origins. Could it be a gigantic, unknown creature of the deep sea or perhaps a geological event of unprecedented magnitude? Early conjecture leaned towards the creature hypothesis, stirring up thoughts of Lovecraftian sea monsters. However, scientists eventually concluded that the sound was consistent with large icebergs fracturing and cracking, a phenomenon known as icequakes. Yet, this explanation has not been universally accepted and remains an active topic of discussion. As the deep ocean is a symphony of sounds, understanding their sources is crucial for decoding its mysteries. The bloop, however, remains a baffling piece of this acoustic puzzle, a cryptic reminder of how little we know about the ocean's deepest depths. The enigmatic colossal squid. In the frigid dark waters of the southern ocean lurks a creature of legendary proportions, the colossal squid. Reaching lengths of up to 46 feet and weights of half a ton, it's not only the largest invertebrate on the planet, but also a creature shrouded in mystery. Only a few specimens of the colossal squid have been caught, and fewer yet have been studied, making it a largely unknown creature. It's known to possess the largest eyes in the animal kingdom, and its arms and tentacles are equipped with powerful, sharp hooks, some of which can swivel. One of the most significant mysteries of the colossal squid is its lifestyle and behavior. Almost nothing is known about its breeding habits, lifespan, or its interactions with other species. Some conjecture it could be an aggressive predator, while others posit it might be an ambush predator, lying in wait for prey to approach. The colossal squid's natural habitat, the deep and inhospitable southern ocean, makes it difficult for scientists to study these creatures in their natural environment. This, coupled with their elusive nature, ensures the colossal squid remains an enigmatic dweller of the deep, a symbol of the ocean's remaining mysteries. The Hidden Megalodon, Extinct or Alive The Megalodon, an enormous prehistoric shark that ruled the oceans millions of years ago, has long been extinct, or so we believe. This formidable creature with lengths reaching up to 60 feet has left a significant mark in the fossil record, primarily through their massive teeth. Yet, the Megalodon's complete extinction is a point of contention for some, leading to one of the ocean's most captivating mysteries. The speculation that Megalodon might still exist in the unexplored depths of the ocean has been fueled by alleged sightings and findings. These include suspiciously large, seemingly fresh teeth and scars found on whales that appear to have been inflicted by unusually large predators. Mainstream science, however, strongly suggests that the megalodon has been extinct for millions of years. The primary reasons include the absence of recent verifiable fossil evidence and the changes in climate and prey availability that could have led to the megalodon's extinction. 
While the idea of megalodons roaming the modern oceans is thrilling, it's currently more in the realm of science fiction than science fact. Nonetheless, this mystery fuels our fascination with the ocean and its ancient, monstrous inhabitants. The Unsolved Disappearance of Flight 19 Flight 19, a group of five U.S. Navy TBM Avenger torpedo bombers that vanished in December 1945 during a routine training mission, remains one of the most famous incidents associated with the Bermuda Triangle. The disappearance of 14 airmen, along with the 13 crew members of a PBM Mariner aircraft dispatched for a subsequent search, has triggered a multitude of theories and speculation. The communication transcripts revealed that Flight 19 experienced navigational difficulties, yet the exact sequence of events leading to the disappearance remains uncertain. Despite extensive investigations, no definitive trace of the aircraft or the crew has ever been found. Adding to the mystery, the disappearance occurred in an area known for its deep ocean trenches and undersea mountains. Some theorize that underwater currents or magnetic anomalies may have played a role in the loss. The vanishing of Flight 19, like many deep-sea mysteries, serves as a reminder of the ocean's expansiveness and our relative lack of understanding. While we can speculate, the definitive answers likely lie somewhere on the ocean floor, shrouded in miles of water and decades of mystery. The Lost City of Atlantis – Reality or Myth The Lost City of Atlantis, first described by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato, has been a subject of intrigue and speculation for centuries. According to Plato, Atlantis was an advanced civilization that existed about 9,000 years before his own time and later sank into the sea in a single day and night of misfortune. Over the years, countless theories have tried to pinpoint Atlantis's location, ranging from the Mediterranean Sea to the Caribbean and even Antarctica. Underwater ruins discovered around the world often spark new speculations about links to Atlantis, yet no conclusive evidence has been found to prove its existence. Some scientists and historians view Atlantis as purely allegorical, a myth created by Plato to convey philosophical points. Others hold on to the belief that Atlantis was a real place and that some unexplained underwater archaeological sites might be remnants of this lost civilization. Despite the lack of consensus among scholars, the allure of Atlantis endures. It encapsulates our fascination with the idea of advanced ancient civilizations and the untold mysteries concealed by the deep ocean, the teeming yet unidentified marine life. The ocean, particularly its deepest realms, is a place of untold biological diversity. Estimates suggest that there could be millions of marine species yet to be discovered. Many of these unknown creatures likely inhabit the vast, largely unexplored deep-sea environment, contributing to its complex and dynamic ecosystems. These unidentified species aren't just small, inconspicuous creatures. Over the past few decades, scientists have discovered entirely new species of large creatures like the Dumbo octopus and the Hoff crab. These discoveries underscore the extent of our ocean's uncharted biological diversity. Each new species discovered can provide valuable insights into biological adaptations, deep-sea ecology, and even potential pharmaceutical compounds. However, the technical challenges associated with deep-sea exploration and the vastness of the ocean's habitats make the task of finding and documenting new species a daunting one. These teeming yet unidentified creatures underscore the ocean's richness and the scale of the biological mysteries that it continues to hold. As technology evolves, we can hope to uncover more of these mysteries, bringing us closer to a full understanding of our planet's marine life. The Vanishing Underwater Anomalies From inexplicable lights to structures that seem too geometrically perfect to be natural, the ocean depths are home to a variety of puzzling anomalies. Some are fleeting, appearing and vanishing without a trace, while others are more enduring, visible on ocean floor mapping data but still defying explanation. One well-known example is the Baltic Sea Anomaly, a 200-foot diameter object discovered on the seafloor during a sonar scan in 2011. Its unusual shape, resembling a crashed UFO, sparked a flurry of speculation. Yet its true nature remains a mystery. Another perplexing phenomenon is the disappearance of underwater formations. 
A study of Google Earth images revealed unusual circular formations on the sea floor off the coast of Greece in 2014. However, a subsequent expedition found no trace of them. Are these anomalies merely artifacts of imaging techniques, or do they represent unknown ocean phenomena or creatures? With our current understanding and technology, the ocean's depths are a challenge to explore, and these anomalies often raise more questions than answers. They serve as a constant reminder of how much we still have to discover about our planet's vast oceans. The Silent Zone, the ocean's deepest layer. The Hadal Zone, named after Hades, the ancient Greek god of the underworld, is the deepest part of the ocean, extending from around 6,000 to 11,000 meters below the surface. Often referred to as the Silent Zone, this area of the ocean is home to some of the most extreme conditions on Earth. The sheer depth of the Hadal Zone results in enormous pressure, up to a thousand times greater than at sea level. It's also perpetually dark, with temperatures just a few degrees above freezing. Yet, life endures here, including various species of Hadal snailfish and amphipods adapted to these extreme conditions. Despite its inhospitable nature, the Hadal Zone is not devoid of human impact. Recent studies have found traces of radioactive carbon released into the atmosphere during nuclear tests in the organisms living in the trench. Yet the Hadal Zone remains largely unexplored due to the formidable challenges associated with deep-sea exploration. Our knowledge about the species living here, their adaptations, and how these extreme ecosystems function is limited. As a result, the Silent Zone remains one of the ocean's most profound mysteries, a world of darkness and pressure that continues to defy our understanding. The Ghost Ships, Phantom Vessels in Deep Seas The Deep Sea has a long history of capturing vessels in its unfathomable depths, creating a fleet of ghost ships that drift along currents or lie silent on the sea floor. These vessels, ranging from ancient galleons to modern freighters, often disappear without a trace, fueling numerous maritime legends. One such ghost ship is the SS Bechimo, a cargo steamer abandoned and left to drift in Alaskan waters in 1931. It was sighted multiple times over the next few decades, but it has not been seen since 1969. Its final resting place remains a mystery. Another well-known phantom vessel is the Mary Celeste, found adrift in the Atlantic Ocean in 1872. The ship was in seaworthy condition, with ample supplies, but the crew was nowhere to be found. Despite various theories, the fate of the Mary Celeste's crew is still unknown. These and other ghost ships are emblematic of the ocean's inscrutability. Despite advancements in marine technology and navigation, the sea continues to claim vessels, leaving behind stories of mystery and intrigue. Whether these ghost ships continue to drift on the ocean's currents or lay undiscovered on its floor, they serve as a haunting reminder of the ocean's power and mystery. The Unexplained Deep Sea Circles One of the most beguiling mysteries of the ocean floor is the presence of enigmatic formations known as deep sea circles. These patterns, found at depths of hundreds of meters, exhibit a remarkable degree of symmetry and intricacy, often resembling crop circles. One of the most famous examples was discovered off the coast of Japan in 1995. Initially a mystery, it was later revealed to be the work of a small species of pufferfish. The male fish creates these intricate patterns on the sea floor as part of a mating ritual, a fascinating example of animal behavior in the deep sea. However, other deep sea circles found around the world, particularly larger ones, remain unexplained. These formations' symmetry suggests they're not natural geological formations, yet no plausible explanations have been offered. Could these be the work of unknown deep-sea creatures, or are they the result of unknown underwater geological phenomena? The mystery of these deep-sea circles highlights the vast array of unexplained phenomena that lie hidden in the ocean's depths. As we continue to explore this final frontier on Earth, each discovery brings new understanding and new questions, underscoring the deep ocean's enduring mystery. The puzzling nature of the ocean's microbial dark matter. Microorganisms such as bacteria and archaea form the foundation of the ocean's ecosystems. They're key players in the cycling of nutrients and the regulation of the ocean's chemistry. 
Despite their fundamental role, we have only just begun to grasp the diversity and complexity of these microscopic life forms, a field of study that's been likened to exploring microbial dark matter. Scientists estimate that the world's oceans are home to millions, possibly billions, of different microbial species. Yet many of these are unidentifiable by traditional means, such as cultivation in a lab or analysis of ribosomal RNA, a commonly used genetic marker in microbial identification. These uncultivable or unknown microbes are sometimes referred to as microbial dark matter, mirroring the concept of dark matter in physics. This microbial dark matter presents a vast reservoir of untapped biodiversity. It's believed to contain organisms with unique metabolic capabilities, novel biomolecules, and unprecedented survival strategies adapted to the extreme conditions of the deep sea. Such microbes could have profound implications for our understanding of life's boundaries and potential applications in biotechnology and medicine. However, studying microbial dark matter is fraught with challenges. The deep sea environment is difficult to sample and even harder to replicate in a lab. The pressure, temperature, and chemical conditions are vastly different from those on the surface, and the sheer diversity and abundance of microbes can be overwhelming to analyze. One promising approach to unraveling microbial dark matter is the use of metagenomics, a technique that involves sequencing all the genetic material in a sample rather than attempting to cultivate individual organisms. Metagenomics has already revealed numerous previously unknown microbial species and illuminated some of the unique metabolic pathways used by deep-sea microbes. Yet, even with these technological advances, our understanding of microbial dark matter is still in its early stages. Many questions remain unanswered. How do these microbes interact with each other and their environment? How do they contribute to biogeochemical cycles? What undiscovered metabolic pathways do they possess? How do they survive and thrive under extreme conditions? Moreover, the oceans are not static, and neither are their microbial inhabitants. Human activities, such as pollution and climate change, are altering the ocean's chemistry with unknown effects on microbial communities. Understanding how these changes will impact microbial dark matter and, in turn, the functioning of ocean ecosystems is a critical yet largely unexplored area of research. The Haunting Oceanic Whistle a sonic mystery. In the great depths of the ocean, sound plays a vital role. Underwater, light quickly attenuates and visibility can be severely limited, even in relatively shallow waters. Sound, however, can travel great distances underwater, and many marine species rely on it for communication, navigation, and hunting. But amidst the natural cacophony of the marine soundscape, scientists have recorded a mysterious and haunting whistle that seems to defy explanation. First detected by hydrophones, underwater microphones used by scientists to study the ocean's acoustic environment, the sound is a low-frequency whistle that gradually ascends in pitch. The whistle is not continuous but appears episodically and can last anywhere from a few seconds to several minutes. This peculiar sound has been detected in various parts of the world's oceans, yet its source remains elusive. Several theories have been proposed to explain the whistle. Some suggest it could be a form of communication used by a yet undiscovered species of deep-sea creature. Certain types of whales and squids are known to produce low-frequency sounds, but the specific characteristics of the whistle do not match known animal calls. Others propose that the whistle could be a non-biological phenomenon, perhaps related to seismic activity. The ocean crust is constantly shifting and changing, and these movements can generate a variety of sounds. However, the rhythmic and tonal quality of the whistle is not typical of seismic sounds, which are usually more erratic and chaotic. Another possibility is that the sound is a result of human activity. The ocean is crisscrossed by a network of undersea cables and pipelines, and ships traverse its surface day and night. Could the whistle be the byproduct of some form of human-made machinery or activity? While plausible, no direct evidence linking the whistle to human activities has been found. Finally, there's the possibility that the whistle is a product of an unknown physical process. The deep ocean is a place of extreme pressure, cold temperatures, and complex currents, all of which could, in theory, give rise to unique acoustic phenomena. But without further data, this remains purely speculative. 
The oceanic whistle is a testament to the vast, unexplored nature of the ocean and the potential mysteries it holds. Each time it echoes through the depths, it poses a tantalizing question. What unseen force or creature is making this sound? The search for the source of the whistle is an ongoing endeavor. Scientists continue to monitor the deep-sea soundscape, recording and analyzing the sounds that permeate this alien environment. Each new data set brings us closer to potentially solving this sonic mystery. But until then, the haunting whistle continues to reverberate unanswered in the ocean's depths. The oceanic whistle underscores the importance of sound in understanding the marine world. Acoustic studies can reveal much about the ocean's inhabitants and the processes occurring beneath the surface. As technology advances, our ability to listen to and interpret these sounds will improve, allowing us to uncover more of the ocean's mysteries.